We have no offices for former commissioners. Well, that was electoral body IEBC chairman Wafula Chibukati's statement to his former deputy consulat and Katha and Margaret Mochanya, who resigned from the commission alongside Paul Kurgat earlier this year. And as Marimi Mwangi now reports, Katha and Mochanya attempted to return to their offices as details emerged that they had in fact sworn affidavits in support of their resignation letters to President Uru Kenyatta. Marimi Mwangi now reports on the commissioners who seem to have second thoughts at resigning. We find our position as commissioners under his leadership no longer tenable. It has been four months since this announcement that saw former electoral body IEBC's commissioners Consulat and Katha, Margaret Mochanya and Paul Kurgat call it quits at the electoral commission. But not quite yet. Early Monday morning, Mochanya and Nkatha made a second attempt to resume their duties at the Commission's Anniversary Towers offices. IBC does not have offices for former commissioners. You cannot come here and say, I'm a former commissioner, give me space to work from here. And so, as far as we are concerned, they are not supposed to be working here. Nkatha and Mochanya had sought audience with Commission Chairman Wafula Chebukati to discuss modalities of their comeback following Justice Wilfrida Okwani's August 10th ruling, dismissing the Commissioner's resignation as an procedural. <laughs> but after two hours of sitting in the boardroom with no sign of Chebukati, Nkatha and Mochanya walked out. I didn't manage to see them, but I asked them to go and put in writing what they want to see me about and if and when they do so then we shall address the issues which they may want to deal with but katha and mochanya it appears could have sealed their own fate in these affidavits dated 8th may the two affirmed their resignation at the high court where activist okia omutata claimed that treasury was yet to stop remittance of their salaries in their separate affidavits nkatha mochanya and kurgat claimed that their stay at the commission became totally untenable after Chebukati ordered withdrawal of their security and blocked their salaries through the treasury, even before President Uhuru Kenyatta could react to their resignation letters. I'm not certain whether that was done. Up to now, I've not got a feedback on my letter, but I believe that uh, uh, treasury acted on the, the recommendations from the commission that they are no longer in office and I hope they are not being paid. Kurgat has conspicuously detached himself from the Mochanya and Katha comeback attempt. When contacted, Kurgat told KTN News that he is waiting for the legal process to take its course. Uh, but Chebukati, it appears, is already planning on their replacement. Alongside Commissioner Roslina Kombe, who quit the commission days to last year's October 26th repeat presidential poll. The committee of parliament which oversights the commission is working on a bill. And also the, the Senate committee uh, is also working on a similar uh, concept so that we now have a situation where uh, they set up a selection panel and then new commissioners will be recruited. Now with key financial and legal queries into the acrimonious 2017 polls yet to be fully unraveled, the attempted return by the resigned commissioners no doubt raises more eyebrows as the anniversary towers drama continues. Murumi Mwangi, KTN News in Nairobi.